Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking my Segway 9Bot Max and doing Uber Eats, DoorDash, deliveries, and I'm gonna bring you along for the journey here. So I am in Pasadena, California, currently on Colorado Boulevard. See the scooter, I am gonna be making these deliveries in today. It is the Segway 9Bot Max. Now I did add an additional light to the back here just so cars can have a little bit more visibility of me. It can be either solid red or it can flash uh, red. So uh, other than that, I just had the back brake light, that little tail light to the bottom there. So that's just an additional light that I did add, but pretty much it's the same setup here. I got my delivery bag, I got turn signals, I got my mirrors up on top. I got turn signals to the front as well. And I also have a very loud alarm system. So I went ahead and activated the DoorDash app already. So I am gonna go ahead and move more towards the red area and hopefully that will provide more orders that are gonna come in. I also activated the Uber Eats app. So I got Uber activated as well as DoorDash. So hopefully we'll get these orders rolling in really quick and we can make a lot of money today. All right guys, so we got our first order that has come in. It's four items, 1.3 miles, $7.75, and it's Republic Coffee Lounge. Let's go ahead and accept that. As you can see, the pickup location is just right around the corner right there. It's 390 feet away, so this is perfect. So let's go ahead and pick up that order. All right, so I went ahead and delivered that coffee. It was actually to a hotel, third floor, and that paid out $8.75 instead of the $7.75 that was initially showed to us on the DoorDash app there. So an extra dollar is always nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back downstairs to the scooter. And with this specific hotel, I've been here so many times. I know the workers here in the front. So I just parked my scooter right outside and they actually watched the scooter for me so I can make the deliveries real quick. All right, so I just accepted this order right here from Russell's. It is going to be paying $8. Our last delivery that we made paid $8.75. So this is going two miles for $8, has four items. Let's see if we can see what the items are. Oh, it's not one, didn't wanna show me. Okay, here we go. Hopefully there's no coffee. All right, the big breakfast, French toast breakfast cinnamon roll so perfect there's no coffee on this all right guys so we just finished that second delivery drop it off over here to the apartment and as you can see uh base pay was four dollars customer tip five dollars so that was a total of nine dollars uh earnings for this delivery got it so so far we are currently at seventeen dollars and 75 cents got the scooter right here and as you can see, perfect. I got the alarm on it. So, uh, and again, I wasn't away too far from the scooter. It was within my sight. So we're good there. We're just going to wait for the next order now. All right, guys, we got a good one here. Three items, 1.3 miles for $7. I don't know if you can see it there, but I'm going to go ahead and, and accept this one. All right, guys, so we just arrived at the uh, pickup location here. I think it's over here. It says badass breakfast burritos. So let's go ahead and uh, head down this way. I think the main entrance is over here. Yeah, it looks like it's this way. So if I can bring the scooter inside the store, then I'll do that. If not, I'll leave it right outside the door. Yeah, it looks like it's right over here. All right, so just completed that delivery and we are looking at $24.75. That's how much we've made so far. And I got the delivery uh, vehicle parked right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable the alarm real quick. There we go. All right. I should probably check and see how much battery I have now. I know I've, I've done a couple deliveries. So delivery bag, it's looking good. Let me go ahead and just close it up here. Oh, 4.4 miles away for $12.25. I mean, look how far I have to go all the way to another city, Alhambra. So that is definitely a decline. The distance is way too far. And again, I wanna check how much battery we have in the Segway. 
let's see here. 41%. Oh, no, no, no. 60%. Even better. All right, so we're at 60% battery. So that's, pre that's pretty good after a couple deliveries. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to DoorDash. And I'll keep you posted on the next uh, order I get here. I went ahead and picked up a 2.4 mile uh, delivery for Russell's. It is paying $8, so I figure, you know, what the heck, I'll go a little bit further than what I want to, uh, just because it does seem a little bit slow this Monday morning. So let's head on over to Russell's and get that uh, order picked up. All right, so I got the order here for Max. We're gonna be putting this in the delivery bag here. Boom, perfect fit. Let's go ahead and close this up. All right, guys, so we got that uh, breakfast delivered to the customer. It was an apartment building. He met me outside, so I just handed him the order directly. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we are now. All right, so that last order was $4.75 base pay, $5 customer tip, and then that was nine seventy five total earnings there so so far we are at thirty four dollars and fifty cents so we got till i think it's twelve thirty today that's how long we're working for so let's go ahead and get back on the scooter and head on over to the hot spots all right guys so we just arrived here at the corner bakery so i'm gonna go ahead and press arrived at store so it's three items we're picking up here, hand roasted coffee, chicken carbonara, chocolate chip cookie. All right, so I got the order here from Corner Baker Cafe, and the delivery is five minutes away, 1.2 miles. So let's go ahead and head on out. All right, so we did that delivery and then we got another delivery that came in that's only going like one mile for like four dollars and something cents so we're gonna go ahead and do that order right now and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the earnings after all right so we just arrived here at the pickup location zanku chicken so i'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and uh get this on over to the customer all right guys so we got the zanku chicken over here as you can see got the order so we'll go ahead and get this in the bag Boom. just like so seal this up we're gonna be good to go all right so i just delivered that order and doordash decided to send me this jewel of an eye of an order right here take a look at this two items 9.3 miles for 10 bucks uh, even if I had my car, I wouldn't even do this. I mean, who's who's doing orders like that? 9.3 miles for $10. Uh, yeah, that's a big decline. So I'm near the Panda Express right here. All these restaurants are just pretty much across the street. All right, guys. Well, got some bad news. Take a look at the battery bar here. Down to one bar, which is bad because that means I only have... 16% battery life remaining. I only can go about 6.5 miles. So with that being said, I'm going to have to end the dash early today. 
because I know for a fact I do not want to get stranded somewhere and have to walk back with the scooter so I did take a lot of orders that were further than what I would typically take I took some that were over two miles and I kind of knew I was gonna run into some battery issues later down the shift uh, that the battery might not last me enough which you know I just wanted to keep busy uh, mostly for the shift so let's go ahead and end this shift here. So we were uh, expected to dash up to 1230, which I mean, it's almost 12 o'clock right now. So it's like 30 minutes. Uh, we're ending the dash early. So let's end the dash. All right. So as you can see there, $46.75. DoorDash pay was $24.25. Customer tips, $22.50. I was active, like actually active, picking up deliveries, dropping them off for two hours and 10 minutes. My dash time was three hours and 24 minutes. I did six deliveries. And as you can see, the different deliveries I did here in just a moment. So I did Russell's, one was for $9.75, cents, $4.25, $9, $7, $8, $8.75. Uh, pretty good tips for the most part, like $5, $3.50, $3.50, cents, $5, $0.50, at least they gave something, you know, and $5. So it's a busy time right now, as you can see in Pasadena. So if you're in this area, you know, definitely get out there, dash, there's some money to be made. And also, you know, if you don't have a vehicle, don't let that stop you. Obviously, you can make money on scooters, on e-bikes, on regular bikes. All you got to do is just, you know, uh, you know, sign up for DoorDash. I'll throw a link if you want to go ahead and use that. And if you got a scooter, a bike, uh, hey, you can get out there. You don't necessarily need a car to DoorDash, depending on your area. As you can see here, we just made $46 off the scooter, zero gas. I didn't spend any money in gas whatsoever. And, uh, yeah so if you have any questions you know let me know obviously you know you don't need all this to to door dash you don't need like the mirrors the uh, uh, handlebar extender um turn signals you can just use the scooter as it is just get your, get yourself a bag if anything get yourself a good delivery bag off of amazon get yourself a bag get a scooter a bike get out there and make some money if you want to just an option that's available you know but that's pretty much it today uh, yeah, and, uh, and just to let you know, I'm not just stopping right now at the $46.75. I mean, that's just for for this shift. Um, so I'm going to go back home, charge up my scooter, and then I'll probably come out for the dinner shift. So my goal is at the end of the day to make about $120. And I, like I said, I got pretty much all day to do that. And I just charge up my scooter. It takes about three hours to charge. And then I'm back on the road again making deliveries and making money so but that's pretty much it if you enjoyed the video of me you know delivering on the Segway and just kind of sharing with you my earnings and my experience let me know um, you know hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe to the channel for more future videos this is Paul Tech and I'll talk to you in the next one